Greater peach tree, tree borer is a common pest for peach trees. And what it is is a, it's a moth larva that bores into the bark tissue of the tree. It'll start to feed on the cambium. And the way you can identify it is, for one, you could cut open the tree and look at the larva itself, but nobody wants to do that. So when you see this bleeding happening right at the base of the tree at soil level, then you know that the tree is trying to protect itself from the larva. It's trying to push its, push the larva out with this sap. Um, usually the sap is accompanied with some sawdust-like material. That's the frass, which is the dropping. As the larva feeds on the wood and the bark tissue, it uh, sends out this sawdust looking stuff. So a couple ways to treat for it. Uh, one is you can clean up all that sap, find the entry holes of the larva. You can put a safety pin or a bent paper clip into those holes and kind of dig around in hopes that you poke or squish or somehow mutilate the borer inside of the tree. Um, another way to do it is to hang a sticky trap at the base, at the lower branch of the tree and when the moth larva emerges into an adult moth it will get stuck on this sticky trap and then you know that it's mating season and you'll want to spray heavily the, the trunk, uh, saturate the soil around it and try to kill off the adults before the, they're able to lay eggs so that you're interrupting that next generation. Another way to treat for greater peach tree borer is uh, parasitic nematodes. You can buy those on Amazon. It's just uh, little microscopic worms that will feed on the soft tissue of the uh, moth larva, um, causing it to die. And the good thing about the nematodes is they will kind of enter the soil and, and penetrate the, the holes in the trees and they'll seek out um, some sort of food source and, and the moth larva is their food source. So all three of those can be done organically uh, if you're using an organic spray to kill off the adults but just spraying in and of itself won't work because the larva is inside the tree. It's not um, it's protected. It's, it's not easy to access the larva with sprays uh, topically putting on the outside of the tree. So I um, hope that helps. If you have any questions, please comment below, and uh, hopefully you'll subscribe uh, for more videos like this one.